We spend a lot of time trying to use our messages to overcome audience objections so that they'll then decide in our favor. Except that isn't how it works. I'm Tamsin Webster of TamsinWebster.com, and on this episode of Message in a Minute, we're talking about how objections are deflections, deflections from a harder question that someone is struggling to answer, like, how does this actually work, and why is that the right way for something to work, or from an uncomfortable answer that they have to the question of your idea, something along the lines of, does this really align with what I want and believe about the world, or about you? Now, as long as the story makes sense, what somebody is telling themselves, then the decision will make sense. But you're probably saying to me, but that's what I'm doing. I'm telling them all the reasons why this thing makes sense and why their objections don't make sense. Except you're coming at it from the perspective of someone who has already been convinced that that idea is the right one. So if you really want to overcome objections and actually keep the objections from arising in the first place, build the skeptic's story. Build the story that someone who isn't convinced about your idea would tell themselves and would come to the conclusion that your idea is the right one. To do that, they need to not only understand the why behind your what, why are you producing this thing, why does the idea exist in the first place, but the why behind your how, how you arrived at that idea. Because it's that, the why behind your how, that tells people not only exactly how your idea works, but whether or not it aligns with how they see the world and what they believe. And it's that kind of alignment that creates the decision that takes the objections out of the picture entirely. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about this or about any topic related to messaging in general, visit my website at TamsinWebster.com or pick up my book, Find Your Red Thread, How to Make Big Ideas Irresistible at TamsinWebster.com book. 